Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, this arena run has taken a lot longer than I budgeted. I kind of expected to lose a while ago, but, uh, meh. Nine wins is an awesome run. And we are unexpectedly kind of at that point where I've got to, this is the final video. I gotta keep going until I win three or lose one. Because there's not gonna be room for another video if I don't lose. So, yeah. Garrosh versus Raw. This is either our last opponent, second last, or third last opponent. There are no other options available. Uh, I don't like that in my starting hand, or that, really, so let's see what else we can get. Okay, I've got some flexibility, as long as I didn't want to play anything that had hit points. Which, now that I think of it, I don't have a lot of, like, two threes in here. Just the pirate. So there's a sergeant, which is annoying, because of course he can kill any of these guys, no problem. He won't even hesitate. Uh, I guess I'll play the raptor, who will dutifully get killed by, like, a piece of crap sergeant who costs half as much. Or get killed by Stormforged Axe, although at least you do some damage back that way. But that means, now I have no protection for him. Awesome! Well, the next thing... Demolisher. So far, this game plays itself. It uses my mana more efficiently. It takes both of those to kill him. And if he's left alive, he will make you sorry. So, that's fine. What do you play, though? Yeah, okay, 3-3. Three, three, that's kind of annoying. But not that bad. War Axe. Well, that's kind of awesome, although I'm still peeved that I can't play him, he'll just get killed by that, but at least I can war axe that guy. So, let's do that. I'm going to save my knife juggler for now. Or am I? i got to get rid of that thing at some point. I hate just using him to do three damage, but you know what? i got to play him. Help me get back board control, because otherwise that thing is going to be looming over me forever. I might as well play him. I. Do you have a different plan for him? Or is your plan to leave him alive? Because that would be weird. Your plan is to leave him alive. You are a strange person. Okay. I accept your silliness challenge. Hey, nice. I don't even have to take all that damage on my Kokron now. Why would you leave the knife juggler alive? Why would you do that? It was right there! All you had to do was hit him! You were holding an axe! I don't know. Okay, you play charge, give me free permanent mana, you flip his power and toughness, now you can kill that, which is kind of cool, I guess, but... You know what would have been cooler for you is not having to do that. Because your extra mana lets me do this. I. Now all your things die, and I have about 11 damage worth of minions, one of which is actually kind of tough, and will blow up your totems. For the king. He'll blow up that guy if you use him that way. Now a taunt totem would still be very strong. Bastard! Because that stops him from getting through, obviously. Boo! I guess I'll have to silence that. Do I have lethal this turn? Silence that, hit for 7, 8, 9, plus 4, 13. I do not have lethal. Unbelievable. I'm going to do this anyway. Because, well, okay, he can actually just get out another totem after, but whatever. Let's just hit for a ton of damage. He doesn't know I have Death Spite in my hand means I only have to hit him for one point other than Death Spite. Yeah, nope, he's gonna call it a game. Another Super Ultra Turbo Mega Fast game. Seems to happen a lot. Although he did permanently give me an extra mana right in time for Baron Getting, so... Kinda your fault, dude. You should have killed the Knife Juggler. Why did you not kill the Knife Juggler? Why would you hit me for two instead of killing a Knife Juggler? That's 
that's just silly. So 10 wins. Mega awesome turbo run. But it's not over. Yeah. Like it's probably over Dana. yet. But technically not over until until Jace Force finishes the job. I've got a two and a three. Do I keep Death's Bite? I think I will. I don't think I'm going to mess with this start. I think this is about as... This is a pretty useful pile of cards. Although I don't have many things that are more expensive, any pitching any one of these cards has a reasonable chance to have made my hand worse. So I'd rather keep them. Um, get some mage. Let's throw out the Berserker. He's tough. You don't want to shoot him. Mind if I roll need? You'll want to shoot him if I hit that, but then you'll have to shoot him, which is a different thing. Um, you know what? I am going to play a shade and hit you for two. I'm going to leave your guy alive. Sure, you can use yours to finish him and then shoot him. It'll take most of your mana for the turn now. Or you can leave him alive. That too is alright. Now, against a mage, I might actually want to sit back and let that guy grow a little bit. Um, I'm kind of thinking Mogushan Warden. You know what? This guy didn't get frostbolted. I think if I have the Warden out, I'm actually relatively safe to attack with this. So let's start getting more damage while we can. It is... I probably should have put out a Death's Bite and gone with this, but... I like him the theory of him protecting this guy a little longer. And it means I can attack more safely with him. Yes, grow, my pretty. So, I could play Knife Juggler now. That would be a lot of stuff out, potentially AoE. I've got these Death Bites burning a hole in my pocket, so let's put that out. Put an end to him. And do I want to finish him with this? I think I do. Yeah, Death Bite might do it next turn, but I'd, I'd rather reduce her options somewhat. Do that, you can shoot it. And then what though? That's still you don't have that much mana left. You're already down to seventeen. I've got this guy continuing to grow. You don't have four mana to blow him up. That is a really bad idea unless you're gonna arcane missile or something. That's a lot like arcane missile. Ooh. If she had not gotten that, and there was there were five targets and only three damage. So there was a good 40, like, say roughly a 40% chance that guy would be missed. Since the target can get hit multiple times, and that doesn't affect his chances, but it affects everything else's ability, like, he really had a pretty decent chance to survive that and crush her. Like, she needed that to happen. Now, can I kill her this turn? Hit for nine. That would be a lot of life left still. There's no way he's doing the job there, so that's not going to work. Um, I think the thing to do is probably keep going. I guess I should kill the Yeti, you know. That is probably smartest. As much as I like the direct damage plan. So we're now going to hit there, and we're going to see if the Knife Juggler can take that out. Now, do I want the Demolisher or the Fairy Dragon? I'm going to go... No, I'm going to go Demolisher. He costs more. Whatever. It means I can't armor up. But he also establishes board control. And is... They're, they're both hard to kill in different ways. Having four hit points is a lot better than two. She still had the coin to flame strike, Really? God damn it. I will admit to some frustration there, but I've still got stuff coming. I have to pause this run after this game. I unexpectedly have to go to the bathroom. 
I really did not think that this whole thing was going to go so long, the run. And didn't think at the beginning of this video that I'd have to go. Okay. Secret we don't like. We don't like possible vaporize there. That is really unfortunate. You know what? There's not much I can do about it. Hitting that is pretty silly. So let's find out it's a vaporize. It is not a vaporize. It is probably an ice block then, but we can deal with that. That is not even an ice block. Well, that puts us that puts us at 11 wins. Next game is everything, and I'm going to go to the bathroom first. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about the TMI and all that. This is it. This is... Now, it's worth noting, I've gotten 11 wins a fair number of times, but since they raised the, the cap to 12 wins, like, I think I've only beat the arena once, certainly not more than twice. Usually this is the point where whoever else I run into, who presumably has 11 wins, is a death machine, and I usually choke out. I won. S I, I had several wins under my belt during the beta when it was only nine wins. There was also a much smaller pool of people. It didn't make sense to have twelve wins because the matchmaking would be poor by the end. You know, it, it would either take a long time, or it would end up matching you against someone who didn't also have eight wins, and it was kind of rough. But no, ever ever since they went to twelve wins, I've won once for sure, maybe twice, but usually it all ends at eleven. So, can I do it? A mage, what a surprise. Okay. Fairy Dragon's awesome, but I don't want Battle Rage in my starting hand, and I don't really want to start with Heroic Strike. That is more of a finisher card. It's tough, though, because it is something that I could use to kill a minion and help, gain, help board control early on. But really, I want to try and get another minion there. And of course it's going to bite me in the ass, although the Weaponsmith is a very thankful addition to my hand. You like to see that. Okay, now we're four blocked. And I'm going first. Going first is theoretically an advantage. We both have Nox Ramas card backs, so only mine is the, like, better one. So that's promising. Although, she could also have the same one. She could have unlocked this and just liked those colors better. I don't know. So that is, again, really annoying because he defeats my Fairy Dragon quite handily. I could play the Worgen Infiltrator, which is a bad use of my turn's mana. I really wish I had him last turn to take care of that, get board control, but I don't want to play the Fairy Dragon to just get killed by that. I think I can do better, so I'm going to just play him. So an arcane missile would be pretty annoying, or a mad bomber. I've seen a lot of mad bombers lately for some reason. Now coineth out a demolisher. Awesome, tastic. You know who else plays with demolishers and is annoying? Me. Um, we're gonna kill this dude and play the Warsong Commander because that's what I could do. It would have been really nice if that thing had missed, for example. Well, at least she's spending all her turns mana on that. I have a million strong four plays, but this guy is going to mess things up pretty bad. You know what? I'm going to play the Normish Inventor first. The, the, the theory behind this move is if this hits my... my my creature. With this guy out, he could just get shot, and then I would be in a bad place. I'd have to use both swings from the weapon to take care of that. This way, hopefully, I can use her and one swing from this to finish that off. Or you have a mad bomber coming. Oh, no, you're just doing that. Yeah, okay. That, no, that's fine. Because now I can still just use one swing from the weapon to finish that off and have a mostly alive weaponsmith. That was the theory. Of course, you can kill it with your loot hoarder in a shot anyway, so. Frankly, it's pretty even so far. I don't know why she's thinking so long with zero mana. 
That is a different question. See, I, I, I spend a lot of time thinking. I don't usually spend as much time thinking when I have zero mana and nothing that can attack. But we're definitely getting rid of that. So yeah, she can go bam, bam. Although even then, that's two out of five mana. That's really limiting what she can do in a turn. I think it's worth it because she's saving cards, right? Oh, please don't have a secret. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. I guess we're going to play the Fairy Dragon, because if that gets copied, I can just kill it. Yeah. Yay. And I guess I will want to just kill it. And given that, I'm going to play the Weaponsmith, because there's a higher chance that one of these guys will live long enough to kill him. And, of course, it gives me another weapon. I don't know, she's got an acid ooze up her sleeve. Oh, goddamn secrets. It's a, it's a really strong deterrent from playing anything good. He might get... He's actually not a bad thing to duplicate, because he... There's a, she's only going to have so many secrets in her hand to play for free, still costing her a card every time. So killing him is pretty good. Uh, I guess I want to use this to kill that, so I'll have to use this to kill him. Which is fine. We're going to do that first, because we're finding out what's going on with the secret. Okay, it's not a duplicate. Alright, we're going to play the Demolisher, because I can kill that with him and this, and that's not so bad. It's not a mirror entity. So we're now going to kill him, even though my guy's going to die. It, she could shoot him and hit me for five, and my life is a lot lower, so we don't want that. And Yeti is awesome, of course. Straight hit for two. It's not a frost armor either. If it's a counter spell or a spellbender, I only have so many cards that you can counter spell or spellbender. The obligatory coup de gras, of course. My life is low, I don't like it. I have stuff on the board. Well, okay, now I don't even have stuff on the board. Now I'm just, like, still not in a good position. Got to vaporize. Alright, well, we know it's not going to duplicate my guy, so let's play him. I could have played two guys if I went that way, which maybe would have been smarter. I don't know. I like the idea of armoring up. And... 18 cards left? Yeah, whatever. I'm going to hit for two, because I have lots of weapons. Well, I only have three left, so actually I might not get another weapon. I might regret that, but I do have an Execute, which is nice. I'll put it on your uh, this guy, which is hopefully going to help out a little bit. She didn't Flame Strike, which is also nice. Heroic Strike, okay. So he would take three damage and go into flame strike range if I use him to kill that. That's buffing with him, obviously. I really wish the two damage had hit him. It would have made life a lot easier, I think. Uh, I guess maybe not that different. Do I want to execute this? Like, she could play something good. She hasn't played any big minions yet. I'm going to regret not having this if she plays a big minion. But you know what? If I kill him, it's gonna ha I'm going to have board control a lot easier if I do that. It also might get countered, and I want to find out. You know what? It's probably going to get countered, actually. Hmm. I don't know if I want to get that countered. I could Heroic Strike, hit for one, kill that. No, no I really want to. I don't want my guys taking five damage. Damn it! Okay, let, let's find out if it gets counterspelled. Yeah. I don't like that I'm reducing to more killable range. I don't like this at all, actually. I'm gonna play him, though. Flame Strike would probably just lose, cost me the game right now. So I really probably shouldn't have done things in that way, but I'm. At a little bit of a loss for what other ways to have done it well. 
Okay, so you can blow through him and then trade him for my Spectral. That is not the end of the world, because that leaves me with a fair chunk of army out. You're not going to kill a ton of this army with three mana. So what are you going to play? Knife Jugger? I can deal with that. Well, there's a 50-50 chance he dies. Of course not. Taskmaster! I can kill him with the Taskmaster, although have, buffing one of my guys permanently would also be nice, but... Okay, first off, do I have lethal? If I Taskmaster, I've got 6, 7, 8, 10. So definitely not lethal. Uh, I can't possibly use enough armor not to want to armor up. Mana. I had way more mana than I needed for that. So, I want to kill him. I guess I'm going to use Taskmaster and Sheep to kill him. I like the idea of the having longer term damage from the Taskmaster, but I really just need... I need the board control first and foremost. I don't really want to use my hero of strike for that. Because there could be a better target, including her. This is really coming down to it. I mean, she just has to get something good. Like, a flame strike will just loot, cost me the game at any point here. She's just waiting to draw it. She must have some. We got, we got this far. That thing is a sniper aimed for her. I'm not sure that's actually what I want out of him. Okay, she's at 11. I have 1, 2, 6, 7, 11 damage. Sure looks like I win the arena. Heroic no strike. Boom. Okay. Some of you are going to try and claim that I do really well when I take Warrior. I think it's worth noting that that only happens because I take Warrior so seldom. I'm like saving up all my Warrior like karma, like all my good arena picks. But that is 12 wins. Maxed out arena, best possible prizes, one of which should be a gold card, which will, of course, be the worst possible gold card because it always is. No, okay, that's a really good rare in gold, so I'm very happy with that. Pack. Another pack. So almost two arena runs worth of gold, plus two packs instead of one. And a golden Keeper of the Grove? That's pretty good. Let's see what I get in those packs. Usually it usually is a crappy card. I did get the, the Justice Sword in, in gold once. But uh, I've, had, I've had a lot of like 11 win like gold common type stuff. Nothing I care about in that pack. And you go. Yeah, okay. Nothing I, nothing I needed from there, but whatever. That was pretty awesome. So, yeah. I await your obnoxious comments about play Warriors more or something. It's not going to happen. Especially not next time. If you found that useful or entertaining, or if you enjoy cookies, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.